Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In this session, we will learn how to export process or business object using Blue Prism. First of all, we will see what is the reason behind that to export the process or business object. Why exactly we need to export the process or business object. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. I have opened two instances of the Blue Prism. If you see on my left hand side, I have connected to Blue Prism connection, as well as if you see on my right hand side, I have opened test environment state. I have connected to test environment state. If you see, in the same system, I have opened two instances, but if you see in my studio on my left hand side, we are working on the processes, objects every day. Whereas this is the new instance which have been created. You can see you don't have any processes or their objects. In real time scenarios, if you are working on the different, different environments, different, different uh, databases, how can we you know, get the same processes or the objects from one environment to another environment? So we can't recreate the processes or the objects every time when you are going to create a new database or new instance of the blue prism so that's the reason you are going to export the processes or the objects every time i hope you got the point why we are going to export the processes or the business objects now let me go ahead let me export the processes or the objects by using blue prism now i have connected to blue prism connection now i'm going to file export so export there's the option called process or object let me click on that. Now you have to select, you have to export the business object or export the process. Now I will go for the business object and then I'm going to click on next. And you can see over here, see which business object you want to export. Now let me go ahead and let me click data of Facebook and then I'm going to click on next. Okay. And you, you have to choose the destination of the file where you want to export the business object the business objects or processes will be stored in the format of XML. Let me show you that one also. Let me click on the browse. Let me go to the desktop. I'm going to say it as file name, object, data of Facebook. And I'm going, if you see the save as type, if you see the save as type, it is going to store in the format of XML file. And then go ahead and save it and finish it. Now, if you see on the desktop, you will find BPA object data of Facebook, correct? In the same way, I'm going to export the processes. Let me go to file, export, process or an object. Let me select the process and then click on next. We are having a lot of processes as of now. I'm just selecting test alert stays and then I'm going to click on next. And if you see the browse, I'm going to in the desktop also that I'm going to save it. The files also for the process is storing in XML format. And then I'm going to save it and then finish it. Now, if you see on the desktop, both object and the process has been exported. Now, let me switch to test environment stays. Over here, what I have to do, I don't have any process or object on my studio, right? Now let me go ahead to the file and import the files where from where I can import the files from my desktop. Correct. Now I'm going to import the objects selected the data hyphen Facebook dot XML and then I'm going to click on next. It will take for a few seconds to uh, importing the business objects and then click on finish. Now you can see what are the files we have imported. We can see in the objects. Let me double click on that. Now we can see the same action, same, uh, you know, what are the business objects that we are having in the previous environment. We can go ahead and we can do that. Now in the same way, I'm going to import the process. Let me go to browse and then I'm going to say select test alert and then I'm going to click on next and I'm going to finish it. Now you can see the processes over there. Test alert, let me double click on that and you can see the processes on the objects which we have been imported or exported. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries related to this post, please post them in the comment section. Have a great day.